greetings again. Good to see you that you have come again and watched all of my episodes of all of my videos. Today we're going to be discovering of plants, animals, animal plants. Well, these things are, well, it's somewhere near the fish pond. Can anyone guess what it is? Let's go see the fish pond. We'll see what's in there. We were talking about green trees. Like this one and that one. But the green tree was a pine tree. Remember, you are meant to stay green as Christians, even in harsh winter. I hope you remember that. Here's a fish pool, as you can see. So, at the fish pond, there's frogs. And what the frogs do, they don't go underwater muchly, because they can't breathe. Did you know that? I'm sure everyone thinks frogs can stay in the water, they can breathe, they're like a fish. But no, they can't. So that's why they stay on top of the water. But another thing when they stay on top of the water is because they eat flies from the sky. Now, I'm sure you don't like flies and I don't like flies. And my whole family doesn't like flies. But the frog, they eat it. And it's so beautiful. Because we don't get in any more flies because the flies are getting eaten by the frogs, which is good. This is one of the relationships of animals. This one lives kind of in the water and frogs like the pond because it is quite lit like water and it is a good place for it to get flies. This frog is called a motorbike frog because they sound like motorbikes. Some frogs can hold their breath underwater between four hours and seven hours underwater, but not these ones though. Make sure and send me some qu questions and some comments and come with me for a next episode of a walk around the garden to see another one of animals and plants.